hey guys welcome back so guys in this video we are going to make login form in vb.net so guys let's get started with this so first let's move to our solution explorer click on view over here solution explorer and this is our project view guys so let's create one form let's open add windows form so let's click on this windows form to create one form and name this form as login dot vb and add okay so let me just pin this over here so you can see that login dot vb form is created so let's drag and just design a simple form to make the login system so let's open the toolbox if you don't find this toolbox just view and open the toolbox okay and now guys let's design a simple login form for it let's give here and now let's change the font size okay so label name will be login form over here and then increase the font size to 20 pixel let's make it in center so this will be the center and now guys we need two text box so let's type text box over here click and drag copy and paste this will be a password so let's copy one more label to make email and password hit enter and this will be your email so let's right click on it and go to its property let's pin this unpin your solution font size let's increase that to 12 pixel and rename this label 2 as email id copy and paste and rename this label as password hit and let's just adjust this form first just hit control and increase the size of it that's it let's make it in center and now guys one button we required let's type button and call this one button will be as login let's make it here copy and paste again this will be a cancel so let's just select with this and increase the size of it let's select and move it so let's give this button name as login now so let's click on login space now and the button name we are going to change that is the design inside design you are going to make this as login underscore btn button so this will be a login underscore button name and this will be the cancel let's type that cancel underscore login and this is your but button name and let's give button text over here that will be cancel you can give a background color over here so let's select this background color custom and now guys increase the button size a little bit so now first let us rename this text box name let's get here go to design and instead of text box you need to give email and then this text box name you are going to tell us password p a s s w o r d done so this text box name has changed and now when we click on this form so let's come over here where is the form one let's move to a solution explorer form one so when i click on this button that time the login page should pop up and then it should work so let's double click on this and you can tell me dot hide first and then login form name dot show that's it save and now let us just start so let me just show you the output how it's working so you can see i'm going to click on login you can see the login form is working and now guys same when we click on login that time it should login cancel and now let us type the code for login system let's get back to a login form login design let's double click on this login now now let's start the code for it 
so before starting this code and all about your esql you need to import the class so let's import system dot data dot sql client and now let's create a variable for the connection then connection as new sql connection done and let's create a variable for command execution command as new sql command and let's give the connection string so con con dot this variable okay so con dot connection string where you are going to give your database connection so my database connection is uh, let me just show you view server explorer here let me just pin it so this is my funda database so let's go to its property and go to its connection string where you will get that so let's copy and paste the connection so let's unpin paste and let's make some changes over here there is an extra double quote in this so let's remove that so this is a double quote let's remove and save guys so let's open this connection cvm dot open function and now you need to write the code about login system so let's give them where i'm going to type statement that will be statement as string is equal to where you will type the code so let's type that select star from table name so my table name is nothing but users so it's over here you can see that so if you want to know how to create this table name please watch out the video the link is given in the description so let's get back and type users where the email id email is equal to single quotes inside this single quote you are going to pass double quote and then again you are going to pass and and the symbol and operator where you will find the text box name so email dot text so this is nothing but your text box name over here so this text box name you are going to call over here so same thing you are going to copy and paste for the password also let's type and paste that and for this you are going to call the password call that password save so this is the email field and the password field so these are this is email and the password for this is password and let's call the text box name password so guys let's execute this so let's give cmd where you are going to call that sql command sql command inside this function you are going to pass the statement first statement give comma and then your database connection so that is nothing but your connection string so let's copy this connection string and send over here done so once connection string is done we need to validate this let's create a variable called reader where as sql data reader execute this command so let's copy this command dot execute exe so let's hit enter and then let's write if condition if it is successful then it should show else it should show an error so if a reader dot we are going to read then you are going to tell over here else if it is success you are going to show that so let's tell that in the message box dot show you have logged in successfully done so let's save and hit enter where after logging you are going to hide this so me dot hide which means it will hide this current form and you are going to show the main page main page dot show function so this main page we have not created so in future if you create that you will show with that so let me just comment and keep this and now guys same way you are going to show this message in else condition let's copy and paste where you will tell invalid login credential c r e d i n t a l s credentials 
Now remove and let's leave the email password over there only where I'm going to clear only the password value clear and now let's close this connection so you have opened this connection right so you have to close the connection also over here dot c l o s c close function so guys now our connection is closed and we have completed the code for login system and now guys let us debug and check with that debug start the project let's click on login let's enter the data so before entering data we need to check with the registration so let's get back let's register first click on register um prakash where mail some random number um at gmail dot com and password is one two three four five six let's click on register you can see registered successfully so let's okay and then let's debug once again to log in that so let's click login now let us log in over here let us give the correct name so om at gmail dot com and i'm going to give a wrong password so let's check that first on to three four five six seven eight nine five so let's log in over here invalid login credential okay and let's try again entering the correct password one two three four five six so we have set that password as this and now let's click on login you are successfully logged in so when you log in you will be redirected to the main page so just need to create that page and log in to that page so guys we have successfully completed about our login system in vb.net so guys thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share